across to it's your boy Gunt out here. Anyone out there got t any talent? We know that there are tons of students out there with hidden talents and some not so hidden. BPA sponsored Carlson Idol auditions are coming up on April 1st and 17th. Oh, April 16th and 17th, my bad. Don't miss out on the opportunity to perform this year and show off your talent. Go to room 22A Computer Lab across from Counseling to pick up forms and sign up for an audition. Students, you will, you will soon receive book notices from the library. It will list any textbook and library books you currently have checked out, any fines you may owe. Please return any textbooks you are no longer using. Also, any overdue library fines up to $1 will be waived if you pop up to the library and speak with Mr. Piotti by April 29, 2019. Nomination forms for 2019-2020 Student Council are now available in the library in the main office. Students must have at least a 2.5 cumulative GTA to run for council. You do not have to run for an executive board position. Each grade will elect your executive board member and eight representatives for the 2019-2020 Student Council. GSA meetings meeting on Thursday, April 18th after school in Mr. Wallavera's room. Students, tickets for the students show on Bye Bye Birdie will go on sale next week during all three lunches. Tickets are $5. Don't miss out on the Broadway musical hit Bye Bye Birdie. Champions Super Camp has volunteer and paid positions available at their four sites this summer. Grozeal Golf and Country Club is also looking for summer help. See the flyers and counseling for more information. Now I'm gonna pass it to my boy Jubin for the weather. What's good, Carlson? It's your boy Jubin. Welcome back from that three-day weekend. Now let's get into the weather. Today we have a high of 68, a low of 58, and a 20% chance to rain. Now I'm gonna throw it back over to my boy Gunter Gunter in the Rafe. It was Gunter Gunter in the Rafe here, and you Carlson students have a good day. This year I've learned a lot about myself and that senioritis is very contagious. Let's go see what the rest of Carlson has learned. What have you learned this year? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. A little, uh, how to read a book in English. Um, that's so hard to do work. <laughs> um, I've mostly learned a lot about myself and who I am as a person, you know, going through senior year and everything. And I've also learned to not stress out so much and that everything will eventually work out. Uh, that you can't trust anybody and you're going to lose all your friends. Uh, Miss LeBron taught me the quadratic formula. A lot of algebra too. Not to mess around with other people. How to make popcorn. You no, know, I've learned to be like a better person. I've learned to like be more involved in school. Um, I've learned that like Claire Livernois is like a really attractive girl and she should take me on a date sometime. What have you learned this year? I learned that I have a crush on Jack Morrison and if he's listening to this, I would like him to go on a date with me this Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> that Claire Livernois is officially my girlfriend. <laughs> so the, uh, the, the city of Gibraltar has recently passed um, uh, ordinance uh, regarding vaping and what it's going to do is make um, uh, vaping by anyone under the age of 18 uh, a civil infraction. So if you are under 18 and you are in possession of or uh, using or furnishing to somebody else uh, any vaping product, uh, it will be a civil infraction. Um, what this means is that uh, if you're caught in school vaping or anywhere in the city of Gibraltar and you're under 18, then uh, I will be issuing you a ticket. Not only will you be getting uh, disciplined by the school, but I will be issuing you a ticket and the fine will start at $100 for the first offense and second offense will be $150. Um, and then it will continue after that. Um, when, when, when I say civil infraction, what this means is that uh, all that we need to pro pro prove is preponderance of the evidence. So uh, in court, it just means that we have to prove more, than, more likely than not that you uh, we're in possession of using or furnishing uh, any type of vaping product. Guilty or not guilty? What do you say? Guilty. Um, I certainly hope that I don't come in contact with you uh, regarding this, but I can assure you uh, if you get caught vaping in school, you will be getting a ticket from me.